Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie. To start off with, I am not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kind of guy. This is one of those shows where I thought it was okay. But uh, apparently it was a big hit for everybody. Much like Pokemon, Mario, Transformers. Uh... I don't watch much of the cartoons. I saw only one CGI movie and that uh, Michael Bay movie, which is pretty cheesy. But apparently, they actually crossed with the Dark Knight himself and even starred as guest characters in the Justice 2. <laughs> I wonder if Sonic is going to appear in the Justice 3 or something. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I can recall that there's two comic series when it comes to Batman vs. Superman. There's one where they're in the New 52, I think, which I never read. And another where the Nickelodeon show that came out in 2007 or 9 crossed over with the Batman animated series version of the Batman. And Robin and Joker. That was the comic I read because, well, it's from the... DC Animated Universe. Though I do kind of, though I do wish that Batgirl has her new advent Batman Adventures outfit rather than the original outfit where it's gray and blue. <laughs> I've watched the movie and I pretty enjoyed it. I tried to do a reaction video or something, but the. Uh, it was me being bland for the most part I got nothing new to offer plus I think there was noise interrupting the background so Phelous is gonna review it now one thing I kinda want to get out of this movie is that I wish Roderick Smith voices Batman instead of Troy Baker voices Batman and the Joker. Because one, I find a little off that he has to voice both characters. And two, Roderick Smith may be the second best Batman. Yeah. I mean, Kevin Conroy's not going to be around forever, so if we have to choose others, I go with Roderick Smith. And somebody said that Troy Baker is the best Batman. I disagree 100%. Because sometimes I'm just aware that Troy Baker is voicing a character. Plus, I kind of, I have enough with the Lego Batman games. You want Troy Boy Baker Batman? Watch Lego Batman. I do not want Troy Baker to voice Batman other than the Lego games. And videos. <laughs> I just prefer Roger Craig Smith. Or Kevin Conroy for that matter. <laughs> Which way would it make this movie a two times better? <laughs> okay, but let's see what Valus has to say about this. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Batman crossover movie? Hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, I think that's something I might be slightly interested in. <laughs> Yeah. There's been a lot of wonderful mashup comics and figures lately, and now we've got a movie adaptation of the Batman slash TMNT comic. Though they changed the name to Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the movie, but them being at odds is hardly the main plot point of it. Like with a lot of crossovers, it seems, they do battle due to a misunderstanding before teaming up. And even though the movie is an adaptation of the comic, there really were a lot of changes made. Huh. One major difference being that the Ninja Turtles just drove over to Gotham from New York in the movie version where it was a dimensional portal that brought them to Gotham in the comic. And the fact they are from a different dimension ends up being a major plot point in that version which is missing from the movie. Gotham is bonkers, y'all! 
I don't know. Gotham and New York are pretty much the same. In the comic, the mutagen within the turtles is starting to go inert the longer they remain in Batman's dimension, so the turtles and Splinter being able to get back home before they revert back into regular animals is a source of tension throughout the story here. I rather like both takes on the story, but I get the rationale behind some of the changes, and some of the things removed for the movie version just kind of helps streamline it a bit better for that format. There's also references to the comic continuity, which isn't in the movie, as it kind of feel more out of place there. Also, the Turtles and Batman don't really seem to be based on any specific version of these characters in the movie. You'll kind of see hints of various incarnations of both series throughout the movie, which is very different than the style of the comic. It also doesn't waste any time re-establishing who these characters are. As long as you at least somewhat know both franchises, everyone in here should seem pretty familiar. The Turtles probably most closely resemble their 2003 incarnations. The designs vary up quite a bit from that series, and there seems to be a splash of 2012 in there as well. I like the style of the characters for the most part. There were some times where it felt like maybe there could be a bit more detail, so it felt a little less flat. Also, I kind of wish Donatello's head was a little less perfect oval looking sometimes. The foot soldiers look pretty close to the 87 design, but these guys aren't robots, that's for sure. Where are your meta-humans? You mean the turtles? Turtles. Yikes! Too far, Shredder! Just kidding, I love that he did that. And I just really love the tone of this movie overall. It's got some really dark moments where the villains kill like this, but it's balanced out with some more lighthearted and funny moments, not just trying to be ultra gritty all the time. For the most part, things felt serious when they needed to be, and just fun at other times. There's maybe a couple of times I wish Michelangelo wasn't being as jokey, particularly a point near the end where Donatello breaks one of his arms. I wish this had been a point where Michelangelo showed a more serious side. But other than that, he really did have a lot of funny moments that worked well. Do I have to kill everything myself? We got a gun umbrella! A gun umbrella? Everybody run! There's a crazy guy in a bat suit who's trying to kill us! This movie is kind of the perfect tone for I'd like to see in a TMNT series. They can be goofy without being too juvenile, and the villains can be a serious threat and actually be shown killing. I was surprised in a good way about how violent some of the moments in this cartoon were, and I was extra surprised how much more violent the movie was than its comic counterpart at times, because you'd kind of expect that in reverse. But it wasn't like blood was flying every blow. They broke the blood out at certain times to really highlight some moments quite effectively. And as badass as Shredder is in a lot of this movie, I kind of wish his voice was a bit gruffer. Stay out of my way. Next time I will not be so merciful. It's not horrible. I just wish he was a little more intimidating sounding. Well, he can never sound as intimidating as I, the most intimidating <sighs> Shredder of them all. Yes, you are the most intimidating of them all. You're just rude, you know that? Shredder is voiced by Andrew Kishino, who had previously voiced Fong in the 2012 series, so that's a bit of an upgrade. Eric Bauza voices Leonardo, and Darren Chris voices Raphael. These two had actually voiced these turtles one other time before the Batman crossover in the Turtles Take Time and Space web short. Also, Eric Bowser had done some voices in the 2012 series, including Tiger Claw. Baron Vaughn, who's Donatello in this, hasn't been in anything TMNT related before this, but you might recognize his voice as Tom Servo in the MST3K revival. Never heard Michelangelo of it. is voiced by Kyle Mooney, who's another TMNT newcomer. But even though this is a pretty much new TMNT cast, they all provide a familiar tone for the heroes in the half shell and make it easy to accept this turtle team. Let's just get these guys to the streets so the police can find them. You could have killed them! Did you know there was a dumpster there? I might have. If it helps, the dumpster being or not being there really gives no guarantee that it's about Doesn't help. Troy Baker is both Batman and the Joker, and while he has provided the voices for these characters in other media before, this is the first time he's voiced the two of them in the same thing. 
This movie is actually the first time anyone has been both the Joker and Batman in the same thing. In anything official, anyway. Baker does a pretty spot-on Kevin Conroy Batman, which is something that immediately makes me like this Batman. Shredder may have ancient ninja moves, but I still got a utility belt. Get off Robin. Now. <laughs> No, I disagree. I I just wish that Watch Craig Smith voices this Batman. I'm sorry, but I really don't enjoy Troy Baker's take on Batman. If you want Troy Baker Batman, look at Let Go Batman. Troy Baker is also really good at doing a Mark Ham. Him being the Joker. I'll give him that. Troy Baker as the Joker, he does a fantastic job. Well, style Joker, so big props to him. You've got what you wanted, now pay up! <laughs> Amphibious, we're still reptiles. Yeah, thanks for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that.